Main thing is we get close. We start to make some progress today. I think we got it. Here it is. North American servers will be down for eight hour maintenance for patch 10.0.5. 10.0.5, Miss maintenance coincides with uh, sleep schedule. There you go, perfect. So uh, yes, it is maintenance day. 10.0.5 uh, is upon us. We are gonna talk in a little bit, watch a video about you know everything that's coming in 10.0.5. Exciting stuff. I think it's gonna be a great patch uh, because it's not really a full patch. It's a 0.5 patch and probably I mean, it's going to go down as one of the better .5 patches we've ever gotten. Some good, decent content in this baby. Okay. One last quick look at a Dragonflight uh, DPS charts before we go into the patch. I kind of wanted to look at these because these could change. A lot of uh, little class tweaking going on in this patch today. So what do we see? Uh, Devastation Evoker. Devastation Evoker is currently the uh, overall damage leader, believe it or not. We got Outlaw Rogue and sub, and sub Titty Rogue. Rogues have been doing well so far this expansion. Ret Pally really came out of nowhere. I didn't see Retribution Paladin coming out. By the way, Sam, Achilles said yesterday if we one shot Raz, he would give you a hundred subs. That's a good bet. I think he's going to keep those. But yes, uh, that would be nice. That would be nice if we one shot Raz today. Wow. <laughs> The thing is, we still haven't seen the entire fight, so to one-shot Raz would take a lot of luck. That's for sure. That's for sure. But I'll take him up on that one. Uh, Enhancement Shaman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. customer support's going to be needed. Enhancement Shaman and then Havoc Demon Hunter. Looking good. Uh, it looks like uh, our unholy DKs have fallen off a little bit on uh, just overall damage. But again, this is overall. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Windwalker Monk in a good spot. These classes, people have been bouncing around here. I would say the one sta stable class has really been Rogue. Rogue has been seriously, seriously stable throughout this. Here we see Unholy rise again to the top. This is uh, damage to bosses. So single target damage. Yeah, Unholy is still king right now. We see Frost has made a move up. So Death Knight in general is in a really good spot. Beast Mastery Hunter. We had a lot of you on Broodkeeper yesterday. The Beast Mastery Hunters were great for Broodkeeper yesterday. It was nice to see them pumping hard and pumping fast. Assassination Rogue. and uh, So here we see big difference. Outlaw Rogue, top damage. But then when it comes to single target, they are really an AoE. And then Sub Titty sitting right there in the middle. Uh, Arcane, Frost DK, still looking good. Arcane was at the top. I remember seeing him at the top not too long ago. When are you going to show the Rogue your pits? Jesus Christ, Karen. Thank you for the bits, though. Thank you for the bits, not the pits. Thank you. Uh, Enhancement Shaman. Yeah, you know, a lot of movement here, but what I wanted to see was really I wanted to kind of catalog this in my mind of where everyone's sitting because of all the changes happening today and uh, what that could mean for all these classes. We've seen some big moves. Assassination Rogue dropped 18 spots. Man, that's a huge move. Arcane Mage. Like I said, they were top. Now they're, six, now they're 17. So that was a huge move as well. Huge moves up, uh, 13 spots. Remember I said Retribution Paladin came out of nowhere? Bam. 13 spot move for Retribution Paladin. Major move. HOV getting uh, big nerfs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Havoc. Is that Havoc Demon Hunter getting big nerfs? They're sitting at 6 right now. They got a buff recently, so we'll see. We'll see. I did want to see where everyone's going to be sitting after today's, you know, nerfs and buffs and everything that's going to come across. So it's kind of cool to review that.